いらっしゃいませ。Who's hungry? Me. Tasty. ありがとうございました。
ありがとうございます。thought about getting rid of all this trash yeah but it's not just trash it's memories of my wife memories I used to run this place with my wife we didn't make much but life was good right I heard this place used to be legit then one day my wife collapsed while tending the store by the time they found her it was too late and she passed on. Uh, despite her health, she worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. To think I wasn't there for her. Gomi-san. I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How might she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, 
I started to see everything in this place like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. <sighs> I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... <sighs> I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her! <laughs> I get how you feel, and I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? Huh? I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two worked so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Oh! Gomi-san, I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. I want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm gonna take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days.
足を見下しとるんじゃろおろっそ年上に敬意を払うよ Mission of Barrel Yeah I got this Don't get cocky Okay. Let's go. Get a life. I got this. Selling DVDs. Haven't DVD players gone down in price yet? Uh. There was no way I could have afforded one back before I got locked up. Still, you think the price would be a little better by now? I'm sure VHS stuff's cheaper at least. VHS. I haven't seen one of those things in a long time. Huh? What do you mean? I'm uh, not not exactly sure where to start, but uh, let's just say home media has been on one hell of a ride this last decade. Better to just leave it at that. Oh, uh, all right. Mission in peril. Yeah. You're in it now. Who's that? Don't get cocky. Let's go. Yeah, I'm moving. Okay. Hey. 
take your You're in it now! Should I open it? Sweet! I can use this key to open up safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. Show me what you got! Yeah! Let's go! Take your best shot! I'm in there! Cool! You wanna fight? Don't get cocky! You're weak! Ugh, I'm telling you, the man's gone overboard! He's polluting a pr Let me assure you, we're doing everything we can- Something happened over there? The river's gonna run yellow- I highly doubt it'll be changing. <sighs> Either- <clears throat> So we got a public pisser on our hands, huh? That's nasty. Bet that cop's not too happy about it. Excuse me.
Ага. М? Э. Окей. Аригато гозаймас. Соре дева. Я. Sorry. Suppose I should give you some sort of present. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. I'm sorry. I guess I made it sound like I was asking for one. Nonsense. You're only gonna turn this age once. Why not let me celebrate? But aren't you broke, mister? Uh. Well, you got me there. But still... Mm. Mister, isn't it hard enough just trying to survive out here? Sure. Oh, I'm gonna be late for Christmas. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Might be hard to track him down. Probably better off handing it over to the old man. Oh? Yeah. By the way, you've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real? Well, I guess a dragon fish is pretty cool too. Right? I'm into it. Someday I want to earn my place. And then my dragonfish is going to shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah, 
Sorry, little dragonfish. Hey, you guys want to hear a scary story? Where'd that come from? Sure, whatever. I was at a laundromat a little while back. And, as anyone would, I put my clothes in the dryer. When there was about five or so minutes left, my cell rang and I went outside to talk. And? For ten minutes, I hung up and went back inside. <gasps> the dryer was still going. And the time left? Thirty minutes. Whoa, that is freaky. Did you extend the time or something? Of course not. Why would I do that? Yeah, no good dryer shrank my favorite shrine. Yeah. I got this. You're alive. You're done. Hey. 